Check and Connect is a program we have in our school. I would call it an intervention. It's effective because we're finding out where the needs are and working with those kids who really need it. In general, if that's a student that we're looking at and thinking they really just need someone in their life, we automatically go to Check and Connect. We do it around the data we received from the school uh, administration staff. Their grades, suspensions, time out of class. When Check and Connect came, I thought this is what kids need to build relationships with someone who cares about them, knows them, and wants the best for them. I usually try and find some common ground, some common interest. First I'll talk about what's going on in my day, and then we'll try and change it into like put it in perspective of basketball. I share a little bit about myself and who I am and, and my goals and my purpose in working in the field that I'm working in. A lot of it requires me to be vulnerable myself and share with them like, hey, like we're on the same page. We start by trying to build trust, and that's very hard and any facet of life. When I first get a student on my caseload, I like to try and call home and just kind of introduce myself, talk about the program. And I think the biggest part about it is focusing on the positives. The biggest thing is that those students are feeling connected to someone in the building and that they have someone they can go to. I have one mentee who confidence has been a struggle for him. His teachers had been talking with his mom and meeting with her. She was starting to kind of get on his case and he actually came to me and he was talking about how no one was focusing on the positives. So then I followed that up, talked to his mom, told her about all the things he was doing well. She was really happy to get that call and then relayed that message back to him. Before I thought I couldn't cope with being in the sport and school at the same time. Since I have a mentor, he puts me in the, how much time should I spend like on sports and how much time should I spend on homework. So there's a student that I've gotten to know really well last year. He's had a really rocky relationship with school. He will show up to school and say, I give up and I'm done and I'm like, this isn't for me. And then he will leave. This is all I can do. Like, I can't drag you to do anything. That's, you know, the roller coaster ride that you ride as a mentor. My mentee and I have a fantastic relationship. I see her multiple times every day. I never really reached out when I was just this kid that was like, completely different from everybody else. It was hard for me to go through another day. She didn't always have like that one person that she can always just go to and say, yep, this person is here and they still care and no matter what I do, they're gonna be here and we're gonna work through it. It worked out pretty well because like we've run through the same situations. I love talking to her and seeing her every single day. When I work with these young men and I see them care for once in their lives and, and feel like someone is actually there and pushing them to want the success that they deserve, I just, it's powerful for me. Everything about our school feels better when students feel engaged, and they're engaged when they feel like they're successful, when people care about them, and when they belong. So it has a benefit both for the students and their individual success, as well as for the school and our culture and our overall success in accomplishing our mission. You don't always see the success come right away, but after a month or two months or three months, you know, you, you do your, you're checking their grades and you see, oh, they retook a test. Their grade just went up 14%. And they went to go tell my, my mentee that, you know, you're done with chemistry, now you pass these proficiencies, her face lit up. Each one of these kids are so unique. Like, they all have their own special gifts and talents. Some of them are just putting them on hold because of the circumstances and things that they're going through. But I've seen that that's maybe part of my job, to help deal with some of those issues and, and complications in order for them to free up that space where they can be themselves and they can utilize their gifts and talent in order to have some other successes in life. The way I have a mentor now, it's like my goals are like succeeding and they're getting higher every day. Well, we have one family that uh, their son is on the route to graduate. Well, he's been working extremely hard. He's been pushing himself and his mom and dad are so ecstatic and they just, they just cried and they're like, we can't believe it can't believe he made it. He sent me my invitation and I told him, I said, I'll be right there next to your mom and dad. They'll probably be cheering a lot louder than me, but believe me you, I'll be your cheerleader that day too.